This is Ginka and Kristen. They live in Canada, originally from Bulgaria. Ginka was born without uterus, but she never considered the syndrome as a verdict, and she was dreaming about her own family since she was a little girl. The couple's dream has finally came true, and they're the happiest parents in the world. I just want to look at her all the time. That's My okay. baby? Okay, I want to. My baby. It took a long time, but uh, the most precious baby. The most baby, important thing is most this precious baby <laughs> small thing right here. It's so. in my arms, and uh, it was a difficult journey, long okay. journey. So but it was uh, not uh, from the first try, yes? No, no, no it was no. not from the first try. This is, uh, uh, this is probably fifth or sixth time that we've oh. been trying. Over three years, yes. It was a difficult journey, but... Uh, I'm so proud of her. Hopefully everything's <laughs> okay. So we're proud of we're, her. Yeah. So we're proud getting of her. close to the end of the journey. <laughs> with Thank happy you. results, very happy results. So. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything, for the patience. Bytex.com was the first clinic they applied to. Lastly, they are at the Venice Hotel with their long-awaited Princess Sophia. They are ready for a life-lasting journey as a bigger family and a small talk with us. Then we decide to marry and we, uh, then we decide to, um, to have children. How long did it take for you to decide to have children together? Um, well, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, my uh, my husband he has uh, from previous marriage he has um, a girl. When I was spending time with uh, with, uh, with her with her um, Magdalena, she's a lovely girl. Um, then um, I, something in me uh, something woke up and I was like I want to be a mother. So I told I told my husband. And, uh, but uh, um, my story um, is that um, I, um, I was born with a uterus. So uh, my, uh, uh, my condition is called uh, M uh, MRKH. So one, one baby in 5,000 babies, uh, they are born without uterus. Mm -hmm. So I have ovaries, but I don't have uterus. And, um, and my only option to to have uh, children is through adoption or surrogacy. So uh, back then I told I was I told my husband like let's let's try, and uh, and he wanted to as well. Uh, so then our story began. Um, How did you find Biotex, and when did you decide to go uh, to Ukraine for treatment? Oh. I actually, um, because when I found out about my condition, I was 15 years, uh, and I, I, I was always searching for like uh, um, for new for news uh, if they gonna if they gonna invent uh, biotechs. Uh, uh, I uh, four years ago, I uh, I remember I was googling. Um, different agency mm -hmm. and then um, I sent an email to a couple of agency warm message <laughs> and that uh, and uh, the other like uh, the other agency I was uh, I was emailing they, they said it didn't feel it didn't feel warm it didn't feel welcoming it didn't feel like even from the first email I like I it was such a good response that I was like the, those are the people so then um, we still we still research quite a bit of other companies in yeah. other countries too because uh, we even looked I mean we do live in Canada yes. and it's quite far yes um, we had to take into consideration a lot of things was it uh, scaring uh, to go mm -hmm. to Ukraine to no, this treatment no no, no. we were originally from Bulgaria so the the infrastructures and everything is um, almost identical language is very close to so that was not a, a, a problem at all for us uh, being scared it was more about the logistics at all 
because of you know the way we're going to work, uh, you know how much it's going to cost, where it's going to be, how many times we have to go there, and stuff like that. And we've even researched uh, you know doing all that in Canada and the United States, but they were just not uh, not compatible to what we wanted and what the final results were going to be after, especially after what uh, like all the research she did. Um, for biotechs in Ukraine. So am I right? The biotechs was your first try, and it is successful, well, yeah, yes, right? Yes, we did a lot of yeah. We did a lot of research. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, okay, I should say we. She did a lot of research. <laughs> like over the years, she's like researched, as I said, pretty much every country that has surrogacy or any kind of surrogacy program. But uh, Ukraine was the first, and, and biotechs was the uh, place. Mm -hmm. First and only place that we uh, decided to go for. How much tries did you have in biotechs? A lot. We had five tries. Five tries. Uh, if, if memory serves me correct, we've been five tries. with the with the program since uh, 2018 February. So it would have been uh, three years uh, in next February. Come on, baby. Relax. Relax. We're okay. Yeah, and uh, it it was hard. It, w it was hard uh, because uh, with most of women, they have a history of uh, like in, in infertility. But I yes. am very, uh, the doctors of Biotex.com are very good because uh, I never had any stimulations. The difficulties, well, for me, it was because it was the first time I'm doing treatment and for the, for the doctors uh, uh, that uh, they don't know anything about how my body would react. Yes, so, uh, right. and now we were very uh, pleasantly surprised that from the, the, the first time it wasn't very successful, the stimulation, but the second time after they've seen how my body reacts, they, it was very successful and they uh, extracted, uh, they extracted 33 eggs and 15 were very good quality and they were frozen. Mm -hmm. But it took a couple of tries, uh, I, now that I think back i i just believe it it was meant to be even even the best clinic in the world uh they're not gods so sometimes it works from first time sometimes it doesn't and uh, the only what the advice i would give to to couples watching this video is just to be patient and to believe because it's fate sometimes you have you it's gonna work the first time and sometimes it's gonna take a couple of years yes how long uh, does it take for you to wait for the baby with biotechs almost three, three years. years three almost years February three next years. February would have been three years since we signed the contract and March would have been since the first trial was done she was fro fro uh, and frozen three times and only I believe only a good clinic but only uh, people that know what they're doing can do that because uh, it's uh, um, it, the odds, the odds were uh, the odds were were, uh, were low, but uh, but it, it happened. It happened. <laughs> it was literally on the last. Uh, How did you feel when you see first photos of her? Oh, uh, <laughs> we couldn't wait. We we were uh, we were ecstatic. Uh, it should be really hard to wait. It, well, oh, it, it, for us it was extremely hard to interrupt her. But also extremely hard because uh, because of our history, the way we had everything going through here um, in the last try when she was conceived, uh, we kind of kept it uh, somewhat a secret from a lot of our friends and family that we wanted to tell everybody, but we just couldn't because uh, we were worried that you know something might happen. Mm -hmm. So for us to uh, to actually see her, mm -hmm. you know, in the, it wasn't in the flesh, but to see her was like like I. You know, it's a, it's an imagination. Like it's something that you can't you can't explain. It's, um, yeah, it's crazy. And then we were actually expecting to see her that first day, <laughs> and then uh, we got the news, and then we have to wait another three days, yes. which was uh, we're kind of like, well, we waited for her, you know, almost three years after we think of more. If we could think about it before that for her, we can uh, we can wait another uh, three days, and then yeah. As uh, some of the guys or the people that have seen the previous video from the hospital, mm -hmm. they can uh, see what 
our faces are. Yeah, it's. You it's, can't really see what our feelings are, but it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I just wanted to look at her all the time, like. Uh, <laughs> I was dreaming how I'm gonna have my uh, my daughter or my child uh, uh, with me the, and do the video. I <laughs> I, I was wanting to to do it with my husband as well, but uh, it's um it's 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 special moment and every month when uh, your text is sending uh, ultrasound videos and reports and that's the only thing like we are so far away we live in Canada. And when you, like when I was receiving like a, a video or something, it was like, uh, I know something about uh, every yes. bit of information. I, yeah. I want to have it because uh, I wanted to. This, uh, to to this moment that you are sharing with us is very, uh, really expiring for another couple that now are waiting for the baby. Uh, maybe you want to say something more to them directly. Um, yes, uh, I, what I want to say is have faith, have faith and be strong, uh, because, um, I, I cannot talk about all, like, um, the women with different, uh, infertility yes. issues, but if a woman with my, with the same condition is watching, uh, I will just, uh, tell her that to, to have faith. Uh, to be strong and to take care of uh, each other, uh, like uh, with husband and wife, mm -hmm. it's very important uh, to uh, to be um, to be close and to support each other because sometimes it works on first time, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. And um, I wanted to do the video for Biotex because Biotex promised uh, and delivered what the they promise. Uh, it's we are happy parents, and uh, we believe that we uh, we can show the the world, we can show the other couples that um, they can they can trust your text and they can uh, uh, and they can fulfill their dreams having a child. Because I, with everything that Biotex offers. Uh, like uh, the, um, the accommodation, uh, the food, uh, the hotel, the, the pickup from the airport, the nursery and the doctors, like uh, you cannot imagine like uh, uh, how much support we, uh, you would have. You would have and how important it is because to be in a foreign country with a baby, having a baby, having a newborn is stressful, but uh, to be in a foreign country, yes. the support, like especially uh, the doctors and the nursery. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! And, and I cannot say enough, uh, enough uh, thank you to uh, to the doctors and, and the nurses and everybody else too. I would say that to a lot of the parents that whoever is thinking, even if they're not started, they haven't started the programs yet. Uh, the support of from everything, from the documents part of it, and Constantine, Constantine. Uh, and all the rest of them. I mean, yes. Constantine is one of one of many uh, people here that are dealing with with uh, a lot of the documents and everything that needed to be done. And we, even though we were here, we've been here for a few times, uh, we knew, you know, the extent. Sometimes, somewhat of the extent of uh, you know how everything was dealt with with biotechs and you know, all the preparations and the cars and all that stuff. But even you only find out almost everything at the final deliveries or at the final moment because that's when the real, like biotechs really you know comes out and, and it's just it's fabulous like this flawless so I'm, I uh, I can't think enough uh, all everybody since we've been here we've come to met different people from mm -hmm. different nationalities and uh, one thing that stood uh, like just right in front of there that it was that a lot of them or some of them they just straight up said listen like we're already thinking of coming back y and for yes, us it's true it's not a it's not a it's a no-brainer uh, if we ever decide to have, so we'll another, have another kid yes. or if we if we know you know if somebody was to ask us you know what well, you know what would you recommend yes biotechscom would be the the yeah 
the outstanding. Like there wouldn't yeah. be anything else. Yeah, we know. We definitely, going and we know people. Uh, we know people that uh, they would. Uh, they want to to do a second. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, to have a second child with Biotex. Uh, so it's we definitely, 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 definitely uh, would recommend to. Uh, what he's trying to say, uh, there is not a uh, uh, too difficult case for Biotex. Yeah. Even yes. The uh, even uh, even the hardest cases. Uh, even the hardest cases, and uh, and like me, including like it's not uh, it's not easy to uh, uh, for a um, for a woman like without any infertility, um, uh, without any um, previous um, a treatment treatment mm -hmm. uh, for the doctors to know what yes. to do. So definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. Uh, Go for Biotex. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the good words and for the interview. Yeah. Thank you. And again, thank you to Biotex Com and all the for, to everybody. people that made this, uh, this possible, as I said, for the last three years. I know that we haven't been uh, the easiest to deal with, but uh, you got to understand, you know, everything, nothing in life is easy. So it's you have to fight for it, and uh, I think we've been we've been fighting pretty hard, and we're gonna keep fighting. <laughs> couples uh, like you inspire both so us and couples that are waiting well, for the baby. We can only hope. Thank we can you. Only hope this is one of the main things to do that to calm people up and to, to explain to them what and how everything is here, so they're not scared to actually yes. even start the yes. process. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.